In today's episode, we're checking out one of the top selling luxury builders in one of the top selling master plan communities in all of Houston. We're going to go over their price points. We're going to go over the product line. We're going to walk through some inventory as well as look at some custom options to show you what you can get with this amazing luxury builder. If that sounds good, stay tuned. So if you haven't figured it out yet, we are talking about Highland Homes. And yes, I'm a little biased. Yes, I am a Highland Homes card holding member. Me and my wife bought a 50 foot product, but I remember the first time that I saw this plan, the Everly plan in Texas City out there in Lago Mar. We absolutely fell in love and we said that one day we were gonna get a Highland Home and that's what we did. But is it right for you? Today, we're going to go over their 40 foot product, their 50 foot product and their 60 foot product show you a little bit about what you can get and what you can expect in the inventory as well as some customized options. We're gonna go all in to see if Highland Homes is the best builder for you. If that sounds good, stay tuned. All right, so today we got my guy Terrence with Highland Homes. He is representing the 40 foot product here. And I just wanted to stop by and let you guys meet him because he's a good guy. And then secondly, talk about some of the differences between what you guys do versus your competitors at a similar size price point. We wanna talk about inventory, timelines to build, all the important stuff that they need to know to decide whether or not Highland Homes is for them. Absolutely, absolutely. So thank you for having me, Aaron. Glad, of course. Glad, glad you're here. So uh, like you said, Highland Homes, uh, Meridiana 40 foot section. And so there's three different product lines here. The 40 foot section specifically is gonna handle anywhere from 1500 square foot up to about 2600 square foot. Okay. So the model home that we're in right now is about 2400. So one of our larger uh, two stories. Uh, but again, we have 12 different floor plans that we offer. The yep. first four are one stories. The next eight are gonna be two stories. Most of what we sell are two stories, but again, we just have a little, a little something for, for everybody, of course. Um, as far as price, we start like around the 340 range or so. For those one stories, the highest we get for a base price right now is $399. So again, in this area, these nice master plan, plan, plan communities, it's kind of kind of tough to get under, you even have to be here sometimes out here. So yep. we, anytime you have something big and nice and open concept like this, and you can start under four, then that's, uh, it's always a good thing. Very, very good investment. And which model is that that is the highest model that y'all have right now? The highest model is gonna be the Ellington. Okay. So it's gonna be like right at 2,500 square foot. That's gonna be $399 for like a base price. Gotcha. Uh, again, the one that we're in a little bit smaller, this model home, so it's three ninety two for a base price. But yep. again, everything is in the, those three ninety to four hundred range. And comparing Highland Homes over here to other Highland Homes communities is definitely one of the most affordable Highland Home communities that I've 
ever been in. Sure, That's sure. one of the reasons why we came out here versus mm -hmm. Ellison and so on and so forth. Got you, got you. And one of the reasons for that, Aaron, is that, uh, again, Meridiana, it's not that it's a new community, but just Manville in general, it's yep. not quite as established as some other parts of Houston. Yep. So uh, not all the development that will eventually be here is here yet. Um, but again, it's coming. It's good, coming. Yeah, the good thing is with these investments, anytime you get in early on an investment, it's always better than getting in late. So we'll, we'll match some of those prices one day. Eventually. Eventually. But, uh, <laughs> but as for a, right yeah, now. For right now, you can, you can get, uh, you know, get in and get a nice home, nice lot, in a very nice community, and just be still very low price compared to other areas of Houston. For sure, for Absolutely. sure. Uh -huh. Okay, so for a model home like this, I know model homes are usually kind of decked out. And sure. I, I also want to show them some inventory options just so they can see something not as crazy. Absolutely. But typically, what are you seeing for people that do decide to do like a design build? Are they going and putting 30,000 in, 40,000 in? What's, what's about the average that you're seeing right now for a house this size? Right, right. My average right now is about 20,000 on the structural side, mm -hmm. which includes things like maybe an extra bedroom or an extra bath or like an extended patio. So structural side, about 20,000. Yep. And then on the inside, more cosmetic things that are design center, about another 20,000. Okay. So 40,000 total. So just using this model home as an example, you know, being 392 as a base price, yep. Yeah. If you were to copy and paste a lot of what you see here, maybe not everything, but just a lot of what people normally add, right there in that 330 range is where you can expect to be just total build out. 430 or 330? I'm sorry, 430. I was oh, like, let man, let me, yeah. let me sell my house and come get this yeah. one. <laughs> okay, so that's that's great to hear. Um, other things that my clients and family over here would typically want to know is earnest money deposit. I know that changes, but what is it about right now? Yeah, so right now, whether it's inventory or build from scratch, it's going to be a $10,000 earnest money deposit. Um, the only time they ever ask you for more than that, uh, it's going to depend on what you add to the house. So if you add structural things, we don't typically collect extra deposit for that. They just get it added to the price of the house. Okay. But if you add more structural, I mean, I'm sorry, cosmetic things like, you know, wood floors or maybe just you know, very unique countertops that we don't do standard. Yep. They'll ask you for a 50% deposit or whatever you add at the design center. Gotcha. Uh -huh. All right, and build time for you guys in this section. What's it about five to six months? Kind of where are y'all looking at right now? Right, so this is hurricane season. So mm -hmm. as long as we don't get hit with anything crazy, then yeah, we should be able to stick with that five and a half months, start to finish, absolutely. And last thing, and this kind of comes up all the time, is there's, there's multiple luxury builders in this community. Yeah. What separates you guys from some of your competition that would be in that like 40-ish to 50-foot product-wise? Got you, got you. Like you said, all the, the builders here are nice. I mean, we don't uh, go into these communities uh, with, with builders that aren't nice. And yep. so yeah, that is, it, that's, look, it's going to be a certain level of uh, standard that everybody has to go by. But I always like to point out a couple things here. Okay. These are a few things that people ask about, and it's definitely worth mentioning. So. You know the top one here these these are two houses that are sitting uh inventory right now right down the street from us and so these these are two real homes i just took pictures with my iphone the top one is a highland home um and you can see just the side of the wall this is a two-story yep. and just notice how much uh brick there is it's 100 percent brick yeah this is not something that's extra or cost anything uh it's not an upgrade it's just standard just how much brick you get um, our competitor who's in the same section with us, they do 50%. We won't say any names. We won't say any names at all. Again, it's not the bashing of the competitor. This is, you know, it's a great builder also. But this is just one difference, you know, 50% brick versus 100% brick. Yep. And then so little things like that, you know, are big things to some people. Yep. Um, another thing is this. A lot of times... Um, you know, if you see a roof that's maybe five or six years old, maybe 10 years old, you start to see some discoloration yep. um, in the roof. That's just something that just naturally happens, especially here in the South. So uh, what we started doing is we start putting um, algae resistant shingles on our roofs because mm. when you do that, kind of turn the picture around here, you can see both these homes were built in 2019. OK, this is the Highland Homes roof and the next door neighbor is just a competitor to roof. Uh, but both built at the exact same time five years ago. The Highland roof looks like it was just put on today, yep. and the competitor is you know, starting to see some of this discoloration right here. So algae-resistant shingles are something that, you know, it'd be nice if every builder does, but not every builder does it. So whenever you see builders, you know, doing things like that, yep. um, more brick, little things like that can help you just as you live in a home and enjoy it. But also if you want to sell in five or six years, can your, your buyer, potential buyer is going to be looking at things like this. And so it can help you just as far as an investment with the house also. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Now... Can you get me inside of some inventory homes so I can show them kind of what the difference is and what they can expect if they don't have the funds or they're not ready to do the full ground up process? Can you let me in some inventory homes? Hey, let's go. We can do right, it. We let's can do, do it. it. All right. So we are here at a one story. What plan is this? This is called the Preston. Preston. Uh-huh. So a little over 1900 square foot. 
Uh, like beautiful. I mentioned, uh -huh, absolutely. Out of the four one stories that we offer, this is the biggest. Okay. So right at 1959 square foot, this is going to be four bedrooms, uh, two and a half baths, plus like a little lifestyle room in the front. So I like it. Very, very nice. Let's check it out. All right. A little bit more of a grand, uh, grand entryway. Yeah, there I love this go. door. Come on in. And again, with these homes, if if that open concept is a plus, then uh, you know people would definitely love these right here. So we're going to keep, as you see as we walk through, just with the high ceilings, it's going to yep. be 11 foot ceilings. Uh, we're going to have a wall of windows as we walk through. And so uh, again, that open concept. And so kind of start from the front right here. This is uh, normally like a little closet space, but we uh, converted to a half bath just for guests. Because you know, that's something that people are asking us more and more for. Yep. Um, this is the lifestyle room right here. So again, definitely big enough for maybe a desk or a couple of chairs, maybe some artwork or pictures. So kind of whatever you want to use it for. Yeah. Anytime there's open space, uh, you know, we really try to, you know, de you know, designate it for something, use it for something instead yeah. of just leaving it as dead space. Gotcha. Absolutely. Gotcha, gotcha. As we walk through here, come right into the family room, okay? And this is one of those, uh, again, open concept plans where things kind of flow into each other. This is kind of what our buyers have been asking us for lately. Uh, they entertain a lot of times, and so they want to be able to have people over and, you know, whosoever in the kitchen can still uh, speak with people in the family room. Same yep. with where you put the kitchen table. So, uh, again, everything kind of flows into each other a little bit, and it's just for that, uh, that good entertainment atmosphere. Gotcha. Okay. This one doesn't have a ton of upgrades in it. Um, I'll point out a couple of things though. Does it definitely has an upgraded kitchen. Okay. Um, you can see this is gonna have the fire burner gas cooktop right here. Yeah. Um, with the 36 inch cutout versus the 30 inch, and so kind of a kind of a chef's kitchen right here. Um, of course, built-in microwave, oven, and these are things that you get with every inventory home right here. So you have all of the appliances in the kitchen except for the refrigerator. Yeah. Everything else will, will come with it. Okay. Cool. cool. Nice quartz countertops. Again, uh, granite and quartz are the, normally the two options that our buyers select. Of course, it's going to be more of a man-made substance versus a natural granite. So uh, it has been very, very popular lately. And some HGTV kind of stuff right there. You see that? <laughs> very, very nice. We have the plug in the, uh, in the island. Nice. And so, and Aaron, if you're able to get this wall of windows right here, this is something that really makes the house feel inviting, I think. Yeah. A lot of natural light. I mean, hypothetically, if we were to turn off all the lights in here and just have these windows open like this, it would still be very well lit. Yeah. So this is definitely a plus with a lot of our buyers. Agreed. Crazy, crazy amount of natural light in here. Crazy. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So kind of moving along here. We can kind of go straight to the, uh, to the primary bedroom here. So another thing that a lot of our buyers have been asking for uh, are gonna be bay windows. Yep. You know, when you do that, it kind of gives a little extra space for maybe a couple of chairs or maybe a chest, but really just kind of makes your room just, just more livable, yeah. a lot larger. Yep. Mm -hmm. We got one in our inventory home and I love it. My wife loves that little area. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. So we have a primary bathroom here. I'll let you kind of, kind of go in there, but standalone tubs, those are big things nowadays. Um, and also just with the shower, you can see instead of the white pants, we're starting to drop the foundations yep. now. And uh, again, that's just a nice plus added feature there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now this is the one thing that I didn't get in our inventory house that I wish we got. Ours was encased, but okay. I think it just was when Jay built it. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's how they were doing it at the time. That's the one thing that I didn't get in ours, but. Got you, got you. Beautiful. And just kind of. Show the outdoor space here. All of the homes will have a standard covered patio. Okay. So you'll never have a home without a covered patio. Sometimes we pour extra concrete like we did on this one, yeah. just to kind of give you more space if you want to put a couple of chairs out here or so. But uh, again, there's always some good outdoor living space. Gotcha. 100% um, brick all the way around. Again, this is a big thing because uh, we just found that buyers, you know, kind of like brick more than, than the siding. Yep. Um, this is, of course, a, a windstorm area. So uh, just, just the more brick, the better, you yep. know, as far as that. Uh, all of our homes will have sprinkler system front and backyard. Yes, it will. So you'll always, uh, you'll always have the in, in, uh, irrigation system. Things like uh, the French drains are going to be standard also. Yep. So, so very, very nice. Uh -huh. Try to make it as moving ready as possible for the buyers. I love all it. Right. All right, and this was the Preston plan? This was the Preston plan. And uh -huh. what's this one going for? 
So this one right now is listed online for 379 okay. 900 And this yeah. is 1,900 square feet? Yeah, yes sir, 19, 1,959 square foot basically is what it is. Nice, mm -hmm. and incentives that y'all are offering right now, what are they? So really good incentives. Uh, a lot of the money is being put in uh, the financing area. You know, there was a time where people would come in and a lot of times ask more for discount and things like that. Yep. But nowadays, everybody wants us to buy down their interest rates. You yes, know? they so, do. So that's where the money is going. So right now, we are advertising $20,000 just towards your financing if you use our in-house lender. Um, and again, we have also like a one old buy down with the loan. So you can use that $20,000 to buy down the rate to whatever we can buy it down to because it's going to be specific to the, to the buyer. Whatever rate that comes down to, we're going to additionally buy it down another extra point, 1% for the first year. And then from the second year on, you'll get that rate that we bought down to. So just as an example, I've had several people get right around 5.9% uh, as far as the buy down. So the first year would be 4.9 and they would stay frozen at 59 for the rest of the, the, the term. I love it. What else you got to show me? So we have one more. It's going to be a little bit bigger than this right here. It's a two story. So it's going to give us a different feel. Yep. So let's, let's take a look. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so we're at the second one, the two story. What plan is this? This one is called the uh, the uh, Lincoln plan. Lincoln plan. Okay. okay. So, I mean, again, it's going to be two bedrooms down, two bedrooms up, one of those type layouts. Okay. And uh, again, right around 2,300 square foot. So a little bit smaller than the model home that we, uh, that we came from. Okay. Right? But very, very nice. People love this plan. Okay. All right. Let's yeah. check it out. So noticing again the brick, brick on the absolutely. second story where some of these other builders are doing siding. 100% brick, absolutely, absolutely. Yep. One thing to notice, and I mentioned this to Aaron earlier, in this neighborhood, I feel completely comfortable leaving my car running and that's being inside, no problem. It'll still be here when we get back. So very, very nice neighborhood. So again, with the eight foot doors here. Right? Come in with and, the and we may have a couple, story. couple of folks cleaning in here a little bit. So we'll kind of... Uh, so different little kind of layout from the model, like you said, walk into the two story. Yeah, this is it's wider, a little bit wider than the model home here. So it's, so it's a little bit more, a little bit more open. Yeah. And so, uh, but some some similarities. And so you can see similar layout with the uh, with the kitchen somewhat. Yeah. Okay. And always like to have things like uh, you know something a little different. You know the upper cabinets on this one. We yeah. went from 42 inch down to 36 inch, yeah. so that we could actually add these wind, these uh, the glass inserts up here with the. Uh, with the lights and so very very nice there i like it okay anything to add a little bit of extra style extra character be you know that's what these are nice do. too i like these absolutely yeah again this is going to go up to 19 feet for the ceiling okay so again all of our two-story plans have that 19 20 foot range right for the highest point nice nice and again so we're standing in the family room right now and you can see aaron how this is uh just with this space, I mean, you can have a huge L-shaped, you know, piece of furniture right here with a chair, yep. and then where you are right now, a table would go real nice there in front of these windows. Yeah, so a table here. Absolutely. So these living areas right here, again, they're big enough for big furniture and really accommodate, you know, what the buyer wants to wants to put in there. So nice if you have a really good eye for decorating, houses like this really have that potential for that wow factor. So very very nice. Luxury vinyl flooring. Absolutely. It's pretty standard on y'all's inventory homes that I've seen. Yeah, you're going to see this on 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, honestly. Yeah, we, we're kind of getting away from carpet and things like that. So the luxury vinyl, sometimes it's a ceramic tile that just looks like wood. Yep. But it will be one of those two things versus, you know, versus carpet. Um, I always like to point out on this particular home, uh, window seats. This is something that you don't see very much anymore. But, uh, you know, you put a couple cushions right here. Uh, this is just something that's just nice to have. It's, uh, again, some people kind of see it a little bit as old school, but again, it's very, very nice. I think our buyers appreciate it, and it's uh, just adds some character to the house for sure. I agree. Very nice. I agree. So we'll kind of move into the, uh, the master bedroom here, or rather the primary. So we're still having a little bit of work done. This is one of those homes that's about 95% finished. Yeah. And so uh, again, it'll be ready in a couple of weeks actually, but similar to the other bathroom, we won't necessarily have to go in, yeah. but uh, again, you get the standalone tub, same with the drop uh, floor for the shower. So yep. very, very nice there. Right. Very nice. Right. One good thing with our two stories is for the AC unit, it is split level. So even though sometimes you may have one AC unit, uh, you're going to have controls for the first floor and then separate, uh, you know, thermostat for the second floor. Yep. So uh, again, you have the kids who maybe want a little bit cooler or warmer, they can definitely do that. 
Um, a lot of our two stories are starting to go to having two bedrooms downstairs and then two bedrooms up versus just one bedroom downstairs. Okay. So, turn the light here. So, the good thing is with this one, if you have maybe an elderly parent who, uh, you know, is visiting or living with you, who just doesn't really want to, you know, do go up and downstairs, yep. they're going to have a bedroom right here with a walk-in closet and a full bath on the first level. Um, here lately, I've had a few... Um, you know, younger couples maybe having their first child, they don't want the, the baby upstairs. They want them on the first you know, level with themselves. So this is nice for a nursery area also in a full bath. So again, it's, it's just something like listening to our buyers, this is kind of what they've been asking for lately. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And of course the other uh, full bath. One thing I'll point out with this also before we head upstairs, Aaron, is that this space right here, mm -hmm. again, Highland, very, very good use of space because if there's space Little behind Harry the Potter wall, closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, if there's any kind of you know dead space behind behind a wall, instead of just leaving it dead space, yep. they'll throw up a door and make it a closet. Yep. So again, they really want to use the, the complete square footage of the house and not have anything go to waste. And so this is good for luggage, for seasonal things, Christmas tree, whatever it is. It's a good space. Yeah, absolutely. I like it. All right. So we will head upstairs here, see what the second level looks like. All right. And we'll see if Aaron can make it happen. This is one of those good times where you can speed it up and make it <laughs> quick. We'll, we'll see how, the, how it comes out. But uh, you, have the, uh, you have the game room here. All of our two stories will always come with either a media room or a game room. Okay. It's just always an extra area besides the bedrooms, just for a second living area or maybe just for the kids. Yep. All right. And so again, these spindles, you'll see on a lot of two stories, Things like this, this would be just just a, what they call a half wall, so yep. it'll just be sheetrock. Low uh, wall. Absolutely, sometimes it'll just be white wood spindles. But again, uh, following the spirit of HGTV and some of these nice design shows, these are this is kind of what we're going to right here, just nice spindles, different designs. Some are all vertical, sometimes you'll see some in our, in our inventory home that are just more horizontal. Yep. But uh, again, just, just different styles right there. I got you. Okay. So the last two bedrooms, this one here, Nice size. Absolutely. So all of our secondary bedrooms um, have it to where at least one wall will accommodate a queen size bed. Okay. So that's kind of how we uh, that's kind of how we uh, size these bedrooms right here. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And of course, always a uh, walk in or at least step in step closet. In. Step in. There you go. <laughs> Peek in closet. Yep, there you yep. go. And again, you'll see these blue tapes on the wall. Um, again, those, before we really write this home off as being 100% done, our construction guys will uh, just kind of walk through here. Any kind of imperfection that they see, they'll just make a note of it and just send a painter back through here and just make sure all those things are taken care of. So Absolutely. Really want to present the home as, as best that we can. Okay. So similar size bedroom right here. Yep. A lot of these are right there around the 11 by 12. That's kind of the typical uh, size for secondary bedrooms. Yep similar to the one next door and of course you have the last bathroom here excuse me mm -hmm. and you'll notice the double vanity what we try to do is every room gets its own sink yeah so hypothetically um I, I in one story that we saw that there were like three different sinks for the secondary bedrooms because there were three extra bedrooms so yep. that's why this one has two so every every uh every bedroom gets its own uh, vanity and that's how they try to try to keep it all right all right Again, very, very nice. Looking down over this, it's just a nice view. Just imagining this, uh, you know, fully decorated, you know, with art and just really being lived in. Again, that's why people love this particular plan so much. It's just very, very, uh, it just presents well. I love it. Perfect, perfect. All right, so as far as pricing on this one, what is this one going for? So this one is listed online right now at 436. Okay. And um, that's just everything as is. Um, again, but we have some really great incentives, of course, the financing incentive, and uh, you know we'll negotiate a little bit on, on the price also. Okay. You know? So I mean, this is definitely. So we got uh, a little room if anybody hits we, me we, up. We, we got we a little have room. some room. Absolutely, we'll, we'll make it happen. We uh, we never want to turn somebody away, you know, or refuse them to do a price that we knew that we could do. That yeah. that wouldn't happen. So again, as long as uh, you know the, the buyer comes in and loves the home, uh, if the numbers don't work out, it'll be all far or not yours. It'll be, yeah. it'll be on us. And so we'll definitely give it our best shot. All right. Sounds good. Appreciate it, my man. Absolutely. Thanks for coming uh, coming out, Aaron. Always a pleasure. And uh, again, we'll be we'll be here for the next one. All right. Sounds good. So Terrence, great guy. If you are looking in that price point of like mid threes to about four thirty, four forty, 
and you're looking at Highland Homes, he's gonna have a great product for you. Now we have stepped up to the 50 foot section, which is the section that got me and my wife away from that uh, Everly plan in the 40 foot section. We saw this one and this one kind of hurts a little bit because if you've been watching the channel long enough, you know this is the one that I actually wanted. We signed a contract on it. Then the Mrs. saw the two story that we are in right now. She fell in love, happy wife, happy life. So we got the two story. But I wanted to show you a little bit about what you can get in this one. I'll go in there and talk to my guy, Jay. We've done a few deals together and got some cooking up right now. And we'll talk about incentives in this section, as well as availability, time to build, all those things that you care about. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm here in the 50 foot section and this one hurts because Jay knows that I, I love this floor plan <laughs> and my wife conned me into an, an even prettier floor plan, but he knows that I love this Kingston plan. Uh -huh. However, we're here in the 50 foot section. I'm a 50 foot Highland Homes card holding member. Jay sold me my home and hopefully we can help get you one if you decide to go with Highland. So some of the questions that my clients tend to have is anything about availability, down payment requirements, earnest money requirements rather, the, uh, the overall build process and what makes you different from other builders in the community. So we'll just kind of tackle all those and then if you have any inventories that you could take me to, that would be amazing. Excellent, sounds good. All right, so what makes you different from some of the other competitors in this marketplace at this size width of a home? Uh, you know, I think when you look at Highland, uh, again, we're, we're a Texas builder only. Um, that, that shows up in a couple of different things. Uh, you know, when you, when you look at the price of houses, yep. you know, sometimes people who are out, uh, some, some of the national builders, they'll bring in plans from other parts of the country where the styles and tastes may not necessarily be the same. I agree. Um, things like uh, window sizes may not necessarily be optimized. Um, you know, some of those plans might be, oh, okay, we're worried about snowfall and, you know, other things. We don't see any snow here. So uh, they, they might end up doing smaller windows rather than doing the larger ones that we tend, tend towards. Mm -hmm. um, things like, uh, you know, uh, some of the things are very specific, like windstorm and, and, and how you treat uh, uh, the engineer. So again, I think we're a little bit stronger in some of those things compared to, say, a national builder. Mm -hmm. um, when you start running into, uh, like, you know, uh, options and features and other things, I think you'll find that Highland, um, a lot of builders, uh, I was, you know, I was just reading a blog, and uh, it, was, it was about a national builder, and they were saying how they make money off of the uh, floor plan, they make money off of the lot mm -hmm. premiums, they make money off of the structurals, they make yep. money off the options. You know, um, Highland, I think we're actually very good at uh, um, like building that into, say, the plan. Um, my base prices might start off a little higher than, other, than, than others, but like, we don't, we, our option pricing and all that other stuff tends to be very, very reasonable. Um, again, uh, uh, you can see, when, uh, with our plans and stuff, we can do a lot more customizations as well. Um, there's about five or six different ways I can lay out a kitchen. Yeah. There's about four or five different ways I can do a master bathroom. Again, a number of different th uh, different ways we can do it. Um, you, you know, it's funny how different, genera generationally speaking, uh, some, some, some of the people are. 
I have people who absolutely have to have a dining room, and I have people who absolutely hate dining rooms. Yep. And and you know the argument goes something like, well, look, if I only have 2,500 square feet, why do I want to spend 200 of it on a room I use twice a year? Yep. Um, but you'll see that again, a lot of my plans have things like this one has the casual dining room. Yep. Um, and then I also have other plans that uh, you, you know um, have different spaces that that you can use to kind of uh, to kind of um, uh, uh, enhance your life. Gotcha. Um, yeah, a lot of different things, but yeah. As far as footprint wise in the 50 foot section, what's the smallest you can get? And what's the biggest that you can get? Um, I have a Glenwood and I've actually never built it. Um, I want to say that home's about 2,100 square feet. Okay. Um, you know, uh, this community is actually very, we're actually broken up by lot sizes and they raised my square footage cap. I'm now about 3,100-ish. That's, okay. uh, that's the square, that's the top of what I'm supposed to be able to do. Okay. Um, you know, these are 50 foot lots, so you, you kind of have to watch it. I, I can't really build a 3,100 square foot one story on that size lot. Fair. But you know, about 2,700, you know, ish is around what I can do okay. for, uh, for the top of a one story and then two stories, like I said, 3,100. Gotcha. Now I know that things change when it comes to earnest money deposits and all of that stuff, but as of right now, what is an earnest money deposit uh, to take a house my, off the market? My earnest money deposit is about 15,000. Okay. Um, you know, I, 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 I do work with people. Yeah. But 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 realistically, you know, I want I want you to think, hey, you know, uh, an FHA loan is about three and a half percent. If you're not a VA, which is zero down, mm -hmm. um, you know, three and a half percent would be would be reasonable. I mean, hey, on a five hundred thousand dollar home, if you really don't have the fifteen thousand, you should consider whether you should be buying a home at all. I would agree, yeah. especially at this price point. Yeah. And so, having spoken on that, what is the price point of your Glenwood all the way on up to the thirty one hundred? What's the range of a base price for you, Robert? Um. It's po I, I thought I thought that was like in uh, the high 400s, 490, mm -hmm. and then um, you know, uh, so uh, uh, my my biggest two story, the Cambridge, comes in at 505. Okay. Um, the nice thing about really uh, this product and why we're I think we're doing so well is that uh, I have a lot of homes that end up in that 450 range. Yep. Um, you know, Grantham, uh, Brentwood, Kingston. Uh, a two-story Richmond. I mean, those are all in that in that you know 450, 445 range. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, just FYI, you, just throwing it out there, you should budget about 10% of the price of the home towards upgrades. I mean, that's that's kind of an industry standard. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, um, I can get you a very nice home for 500, slightly under. Cool. And so something like this base plan would be like four. What? On uh, this this one? is a base plan of about 445. Yes. As we're looking at this, I'd say this is about 525 maybe. Okay. And then, okay, so 525. And as far as your inventories go, I got one of your inventories, so I know that they're decorated nicely. About what do you put into your inventory oh. homes? to get them looking as pretty as our home and these people have seen uh -huh. our home. So. Um, you know, it's funny, again, I build these inventories with a $20,000 budget to, to decorate them. And many of you have seen how pretty our house was and, and that's about what he put into ours, right? Yeah. So do you have time to show me a couple inventory homes of, so they can see kind of like the range of what they can get if they, maybe if you have any a little bit more bells and whistled or maybe if you have something that can just show them what they can expect for an inventory home in the 50 foot section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a couple that we can kind of look at, okay. you know. Um, uh, yeah, let's go take a look at some stuff. And then the other side of that is another feature, another feature or benefit that the 50 foot section has over here is that you guys are gated. Yes, we are. We are the gate section. Okay. So one of the reasons why we bought in the 50 foot section over here. Now let's go check out some inventory. All right. All right. All right so while Jay goes and unlocks this one for me, this was a, a customer built this one. This wasn't a true inventory, but he basically said that this one was bare bones. They, they had a $20,000 incentive and they practically used just that $20,000 incentive. So this would be a great opportunity to potentially see what you could get when you're not going all out, even if you did decide to go the build route. And what plan is this? Uh, this is a Kingston. This is a Kingston. Ugh. Just gonna keep rubbing it in, Ajay. Huh, <laughs> All right, so we'll go check this one out. Love it. I look, man, I'm such a, I'm so <laughs> Kingston biased, it's not even funny.
And to protect the privacy of this people, these people, we're not going to talk about what they paid and all that stuff. But this one is just a, a great example of not going super crazy on the design budget and still getting a really pretty product. Oh man, this might have got me for my for my wife had I had she seen that she would have she would have chosen that one probably. So as far as upgrades or anything they did in here, basically just what floors and what what did they do in here? Uh, well they added like some glass cabinets it looks like they added the handle pulls. So they added a hutch over here. Well the hutch is standard, but okay. the, but the glass with the finished cabinets, gotcha. glass shelves. Yeah, gotcha. Um, you know, as we talked about, uh, my standard incentive right now, I, I'm building these invent, I'm building inventory with about $20,000 in yeah. upgrades in it. And I'm actually doing $20,000 in upgrades as an incentive. Gotcha. So, uh, you, you know, what, what you're seeing is kind of around what you might expect. From. Gotcha. And as far as your current section, it's a little bit wider now, right? So um, it's funny. The next home we're going to look at uh, is a Oxford. Mm -hmm. That's a 55 foot wide plan. I only had two lots in this section that could hold it. Yep. Um, in the new section, really all my uh, all my lots are 55 foot wide. Gotcha. So if you wanted to do a Kingston with a five foot bump out, easily done. Any lot. Would that um, be wide enough to get you a three car garage or just the extra storage lot? Uh, I, I need I need a slightly larger lot to do a three car, but yeah, I can do it. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Shower in a full tub. And these can be built with the, the super shower, kind of like the model as well but again this looks really great to say that they put about 20 in this looks really great jay they did a good job no they really did budget. i like the selection they chose so standard things that you would typically put in your inventory homes kind of what what can they expect um you know this flooring uh is is kind of i like the luxury vinyl planks yep I think they're softer on your back. I think they're easier to care for. Yep. If you have pets, they won't get damaged. For well, a number of different reasons, I like the luxury vinyl planks. That's probably why I spend the lion's share of my, of my budget. Uh, front door to back door, it's typically about seven or 8,000, mm -hmm. kind of depending. You know, uh, some, some kitchen upgrades as well, upgraded cabinets, uh, maybe a quartz countertop, those type of things. Yep. Um, you know, probably looking around five, 6,000, kind of depending. Um, Sometimes you'll even put the slider in here on some of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have, I have had some homes that, uh, that did the slider. Yep. Uh, I, I like this appliance layout with the built-in oven, built-in microwave, full vent hood. Yep. Um, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, I think that one's about 1200, you know. Again, just some things here and there that we end up doing, but uh, this is a good example of, you know, again, uh, what, what I can do, you know, even with a tighter budget. Gotcha. And build times on this, if they wanted to build this, ground up about five or six months, depending on the section and if it's just starting out in the section, kind of like what's the time frame for you to build? Uh, it, uh, it takes me, about, well, okay, the new section, um, we are, we just got the electrical in. Okay. Um, you know, we say it's, uh, it's five or, uh, I'm sorry, six or seven months yep. from contract to close. Yep. A lot of times I'm actually building them in four or five months. Yeah. But you know, the first, the first couple of months uh, tends to be, uh, you know, building permits, design studio, getting the loan together, a couple other things that people end up doing. Gotcha. All right, so we're on the other end of the spectrum for this one where they kind of went all out on the build. What plan is this? Is this also a Kingston or is it something else? Uh, this is actually an Oxford. Oxford. Um, this is a 55 foot wide plan. Okay. Um, you know, uh, in, in this section, I only had uh, uh, two lots that could hold this plan. Gotcha. In my new section, everything's actually 55 foot uh, wide, so, okay. which is kind of nice. So uh, there's this floor plan. Um, we actually introduced a couple of other new uh, 55 foot plans. So we'll have some different selections now. All right, let's check it out. Thank you, sir. Love the tall ceilings as always.
How many square feet is this one compared to the Kingston? Is this bigger? Uh, this is probably about uh, 150, 200 square feet larger. Okay. Fireplace, okay. Yeah, so they did some things in here. This is a, a high movement grant quartz is what they call it, yeah. high movement quartz. And if you had to put an estimate on what they spent in this one, just to give them a, a reference point, what did they spend um, on upgrades in this one? This is probably uh, about double the upgrades that the last one had. So 40, 40, 50 ish? Probably, okay. something like that. And one thing that I always say that I love about Highland, especially if you're going to do the full design build, is that you have a lot of options for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can almost be overwhelming, but you can kind of basically go in there and pick from a cosmetic standpoint anything that you have ever thought about having in your house. You'll be able to basically get it with Highland Homes for sure. I've been with a couple of different builders mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have a lot more selection at um, at our design studio than, yep. than those did. Um, <laughs> some of it has to do with uh, my, uh, we have a different relationship with the flooring company where, I, I mean, again, you know, there's there's Daltal, there's Emser, there's all these different co companies. Yep. I mean, we have Marazzi, we had we had a Swedish company, Hydrofix Lyco. Yep. I mean, just stuff I'd never heard of at any of the other builders. Yep. And, I mean, been doing this a long time. <laughs> yeah. So similar to the Kingston, you have a, large office in the back. Still working on some stuff in this one. But nice. Nice, nice. So as far as volume, I know that Highland Homes sells some of the best out here. As far as availability for your new section, how long do you anticipate being out here still kind of building over the next few years? Um, this section that, we, that we're uh, closing out on, um, we opened it probably in March or April of last year. I mean, we seem to be moving at a rate of about, um, you know, 40 homes-ish. Uh, I expect us to be out of that uh, new section probably in about the, you know, probably by, by next spring. Crazy. So absolutely love Jay, love the 50 foot product. Like I said, we are in the 50 foot product. We bought our home from Jay and it's been a great experience. As far as some of the pros that I have personally experienced, the, the warranty has been outstanding. We have been with the builder of our home, Giovanni, shout out to you if you ever see this, doing an amazing job. But there have been some things that I would say have even been a little bit outside of what should be standard warranty, that just from a customer service standpoint, that, that the builder as Highland Homes, just being the luxury brand that they are, want to make sure that their clients are happy and they have gone above and beyond to do that on my behalf. But now we have stepped over into Dream Homeville and the 60 foot product. And this is one of the first homes that I sold in the Metro that made me even look at this little country town as a potential. I've had tons of clients that come in since this house that I sold, the 222 plan. And it's one of those special ones for me because like I said, had I not sold that house, I wouldn't maybe even live in this community. And since then, I've brought as many people as I could to this beautiful community, me and my family. Our sales have come out here and it's just a really gorgeous place, but now we're gonna go in there and talk to Adam. He's taken over for my girl, Tracy. I know y'all have seen her a couple times on this channel, but he's taken over and now he's doing the 60 foot plus section for Highland Homes. Let's go check it out.
All right, we're here with my man Adam, taking over the 60 plus foot section for Highland Homes. That's right, that's right. Where are you coming from before here? Uh, prior to this, I was in Cross Creek Ranch and before that, Harvest Creek. Okay, so he's one of these names where you guys know I love a Highland home. So if there's a Highland home model, I'm going into it. You're one of those cars that I've seen, but you were elusive until now. And yeah. so finally I, I got you. We briefly rubbed shoulders in Pomona at one point. Okay. Before yes. Before Harvest Green. Okay. Yeah. All right. So he has one of my favorite model homes in the whole metro. It's the 222. He also has some other plans that he can do here that I love. So 224 and, and a host of other huge wonderful two stories that we got here. But I wanted to talk a little bit about, and some of my clients have always asked when they come to this style of a home, what makes you different from some of your other competitors that are building at a similar price point? What are some of the earnest money requirements? What are the uh, time frames to build something that is this large? Some of those kind of basic questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, so starting off the gate, what <coughs> size home can you get here? How small to how big in this community? Can we go in this section? We're just over 2,000 as a starting point, and we top out at 4,400. Okay. Uh, previously, it was, it was I believe, capped at 4,000, mm -hmm. and we recently got that uh, extended at 4,400 square feet. I think my clients in that section were kind of mad about it at the time that they were capped at 4,000, 4, but that's great news to hear. So you can go even bigger now over here. That's correct. Um, second question, earnest money deposits for a house that would be in this section about what can they expect? I know it changes over time, but what can they expect about right now? <clears throat> well, it's actually a good question because as a company standard, um, each community has a set earnest money figure. Yep. Uh, this particular community, it's been set at 25,000. Okay. That being said, as a consumer, I wouldn't shy away from having the conversation if that's something you're uncomfortable with. Great example, a lot of the buyers that buy specifically here in Meridiana, through some of the research I did before I got transferred here, mm -hmm. are utilizing VA loans, so yep. ex-military. Uh, I come from a military family, um, very proud, yep. uh, but sometimes when utilizing a VA, the whole goal is to not come out of pocket. Um, so if a client comes to me and has that, that conversation and lets me know that's important to them, yep. um, it's a case by case. So I can take it to my boss and we can make exceptions uh, if there's a reason. Gotcha. Now with all your experience for Highland Homes, this is a pretty large house. This is what, like 3,700 square feet, give right or take? Right at 3,900. So for a house that is this big, you're kind of getting to those people that typically are going to have the finances that want to build this ground up. Right, about right. what are you seeing people putting into a house that's around this size? Is it about 10%? Kind of what should they expect? In Come terms on. of design center? Design and structural and all that stuff. What are people kind of typically putting into these homes? I would say <clears throat> a home like this and kind of a good rule of thumb in the 65 foot kind of product lineup is you're looking at around the 25 to 30,000 on a structural on the structural side of things. Mm -hmm. And then I would say just over that on the design. So right around 30 and 30 is gonna yep. get you a good looking home. Uh, you're not gonna be sacrificing with any of the majors, like gotcha. your cabinets, countertops, wood floors, stuff like that. Gotcha. Uh, of course, there's situations where people come in under that. And, um, and they got a lot of people that'll go over that. Yeah, you, you have people that have the brother-in-law <laughs> that owns a, a cabinet company and they want to do stuff after. Yep. Uh, and then there's people that like it turnkey and they want to turn it all the way up. Like yep. I think you're, one of your recent clients just did. Yep. <clears throat> so I think the rule, the, the safe rule of thumb is about 10%, like you said, of whatever the base price of that home you're looking at. With Highland, it's not going to take as much as it would with some of our competitors to get there. I agree. Um, another question that they typically have is when you come to premium lots, what are the lot sizes that can typically come with a house that is this big? I know a lot of my people are coming from other places where they're used to having acreages, and I know that that's not really a common thing here in this style of community. So about how big of a lot can you expect, and what are some of the premiums to maybe get a bigger lot here? Sure, sure. I would say if you're looking at more of an interior, more of a basic lot in the 65-foot section, you're looking at lot depths of somewhere around the 128 to 134. Yep. So you're going to end out somewhere over the 8,000 square foot mark yep. for a standard lot. Uh, with every section, we have um, exceptions to that rule. Yep. Maybe it'd be a cul-de-sac or a small court coming off of a street. 
um, or a corner of the section where it's got a pie-shaped or more oversized lot. Yeah. In those situations, you can look at potentially getting as much as about 13,000, 14,000 square feet at a top top end, mm -hmm. and you can expect a premium of somewhere between 20 and 25,000. Gotcha. Highland's very reasonable when it comes to the premium um, side of things. I know that some builders utilize that as their opportunity to get some to, of that money back <laughs> to make some of that extra margin. Uh, we we make that in the in the base price of our home. We really try not um, kind of come over the top for options upgrades or lot premiums. Gotcha. And then another question that I have is about how long will it typically <clears throat> take to build something that is this big? Really? Good question. Uh, something this big, if you were looking at a custom. Right, you'd be looking at a year plus. Mm -hmm. uh, because we are a volume builder, we're not a custom builder. Um, but you're highly customizable. We give you a ton of options. A lot of I mean, options. It's one of the things that Highland does is we're able to, our founder's outlook was let's make the houses, the livability factor is a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, and and I'm, I'm stepping off topic, but I think it's important. One of the main differences between Highland and some of uh, our competitors is, uh, for example, our architectural department consists of 55 employees yeah and those 55 employees are our in-house employees most companies outsource 90 percent of the architectural process yep. and the majority of builders um, have are selling plans that are as min as much as 20 years old yep. when they were first drawn yep. and they'll make slight adjustments with time to try and modernize that yep. plan highlands uh, average plan, I believe right now, is right at five years. Yeah. We don't let our, our plans age. When they get to the point where they need to put out Start pasture, switching them out. then we switch them out. We, we put good minds together that do tons of market research in other places like California, trending real estate spots, yeah. and we take what's popular and award-winning there, and then we go to the drawing board and we build from ground up what, what we feel meets those new trends and yep. also the livability factor that we're looking for here. Love it. But as far as time to build something seven like months. That, seven months. Seven months. And, we, that, and I know that can kind of vary. I've had a couple where it's a little bit longer depending on whether they were one of the first people in a section or there's some other circumstances that can extend that, but on average, seven months is about what I've experienced here with some of my clients that have built in this product size line. Absolutely. All right, last but not least, what kind of makes you different from some of your other competitors building at this <clears> price point? I'm, I'm not gonna name any names on this video because this is all about Highland, but of the people that are here right now, what kind of makes you guys different from them? I think probably the number one thing and probably why we win as many awards as we do on a consistent basis here in this market is we don't try to appease everybody. Mm -hmm. Highland is a Houston builder. Yep. Uh, we build in, in Texas only. We're in the major, you know, of course, San Antonio, Dallas, Austin. Yep. But we're building for what a Texas buyer wants. Yep. Um, we do get information from other markets, different trends, like I said, but we, we don't stretch ourselves too thin. We're yep. not trying to build in a Florida's market, California's market, Colorado's market, and then uniformly give these plans to these markets. Yep. We're, we base the homes that, that we design on the buyers that are right here buying them, um, and we're constantly taking input from buyers, previous buyers, and we're implementing those ideas to better our plans. I think going back to the age of the average plans, uh, we, because we're constantly modifying and adapting our plans to, yeah. like COVID was a perfect example. Dining rooms were no longer a thing, but a second study all Give of a sudden that became a necessity. Yep. Yep. Um, so we really concentrate on that. And I think that people feel that when they walk through our homes. Um, I'd say there's, there's a laundry list. I could go into the nitty gritty. Uh, I, I would probably throw out there a few things that I think um, people recognize as a difference. Things like tankless water heaters that we use as, as standard. Uh, one I think that stands out to me is one of my favorite things we do is we use a nine foot plate. Mm. So the majority of builders, <clears throat> even custom builders, will use an eight foot plate. The lumber going vertical is eight feet. Mm -hmm. The reason why they do that is because that is a very common size, right? Yep. To go to from that eight foot to a nine foot, 
that 20, that uh, extra foot yep. is gonna cost the builder as much as 20% more for that piece of wood. Yep. Most builders aren't willing to pay that 20% uh, extra for their lumber cost in order to just achieve one foot. Yep. But Highland's perception is it's not just one foot. We pay that extra because it is one foot in ceiling height, yep. but it also allows us to put in bigger sliders, yep. larger windows. Yep. It also allows us to mount those windows higher on the wall to allow more natural light to cascade through the home for a prolonged period of time, making the whole home feel more light and bright. That kind of airy feeling that you can't really put a finger on yep. why you like that home more than the others, yep. that's Highland. Yep. And we own a Highland we actually bought here from Jay, so we're in the 50 foot section. So you don't have to sell me. I got my card holding member, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Um, last thing, and I don't think I touched on it with the other sections is one of the experiences that I've had that was super positive has always been the warranty and even my other clients that have already lived here. Is it standard for the PM that, that built the house to kind of stick with you for some period of time? Is that, I know that that's something that I've experienced here but is that standard and kind of what are the standard warranty practices for you guys? That's something that Highland does. So okay. most builders will oftentimes third party. The second the buyer closes, they just transition to somebody else. Uh, our outlook is the, the gentleman who built your home or female that built your home, they know that home, yep. they built it. And they need to take some responsibility, especially until that kind of initial period is worn off when when you see any vulnerabilities in a home, that's why builders have warranties. That one, sh one workmanship, one year warranty, that's there because nothing should go wrong in that first year. Right. And if it does, it means it was either improperly installed yeah. or it was a faulty product. Yeah. Um, but they're gonna be the first to know. And with building, you already have that relationship. So it's easier on the client, yeah. I think. Cool, cool. Other than that, I appreciate it for you taking the time with me. Do you think you can get me some access into some inventory homes just so I can kind of show them Absolutely. what we got over here Absolutely. to offer? From an inventory standpoint, I'm also going to show you a little bit more of a custom item that is special to me because it's my client's home. Sound good? Good seeing you, man. All right, good Absolutely. So now we're going to go head over to check out some inventory homes that they have in the 60 foot plus sections for Highland Homes. And we'll talk briefly about probably the one con that I have for Highland Home, and for many people it's not a con. Many of my clients is not a con because this isn't usually a, a first time purchase. This isn't at the price point for them where you would be a first time home buyer. And so the one con, and, and just a little bit of a con, is that the money required, if you're gonna go the full build route, is sometimes fairly steep. And what I mean by that is, Adam touched on it a little bit, the earnest money deposit for a 65 foot section or a 60 foot plus product in Meridiana currently where we are is 25K. And they are they do have some moments where they're willing to kind of work with you as he mentioned. I've, I've been on the other side of that as well when things are a little bit tight and we just need a little bit of help. Highland Homes has definitely been one of those builders that is willing to do that. But if you want that full, customized ground up build experience you're going to have to have that earnest money deposit up front it's credited back to you at closing but just to keep a tab let's say you had 50,000 in upgrades that you also did to that home you're going to have to have another deposit of 50 percent and so out the gate for a home that is you know at that price point of the 600,000 kind of range you're going to need to have basically 10 percent pretty much ready out the gate just to get that thing going because you're going to have to put money down for the earnest money and you're going to have to put money down for the uh, upgrades that you have if you were to go the custom route so hasn't been a super big inconvenience because of most most of my client family like you that have reached out to me to look at this style of home have have had the funds to do it but if this is something where you're not necessarily ready to shell out a bunch of money up front and then wait the process for the build to be completed a product like some of these that we're about to go and see right now the inventory route may be the best of both worlds especially if we can catch one that has a layout that you like that maybe hits all of the the space requirements but not necessarily the finishes and it can be just something that you do over time the inventory route may actually be the perfect way to go to avoid having to put out such a hefty amount of money 
up front. But that, if I had to be nitpicky about cons, that would be the one con is that the earnest money deposit is, is typically on par, if not one of the higher ones in the community. But if you're looking at it from a realistic standpoint of the house that you're looking to buy, it's usually in line with with about an FHA down payment is about what you would expect to be required to pay in in a community uh, when you're going with the Holland home. So that's me really stretching it for a kind. Like I said, I, I really love them. I think it's fair for the product that you get. But if I had to pick one kind, it would be the, the money to get into it for a build is sometimes a little bit higher than it would be with some other builders. And before we go in here and we check out these absolutely crazy homes in the 60 foot sections for Highland Homes, I think it's even crazier that you haven't called, you haven't texted, you haven't said, Aaron, you're my favorite realtor. And when I'm ready to make that move and make a purchase in the Houston Metro, that you're the first person that I'm gonna call. The fact that you've been watching this video for almost 30, maybe even 40 minutes, and you haven't done that yet, is insane to me so i'm gonna give you a few seconds to do all of that stuff hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell so you don't miss any info on any of these luxury and master plan communities that we are discovering and dissecting together i would love to be that resource and although i do a lot of business with highland homes i love them as a company they do great work for all of my clients i know for a fact that the best way to go into a new construction process is to have an agent representing you and i would love to be that person to be that buffer between you and all the foolishness that could happen through new construction just that whole process can be a cluster and i want to make it as stress-free as possible for you but the only way that i can do that is if you hit me up or if you're one of these people that just want to go out there and tour and do your thing look at some homes with no pressure if you put my name number and email on that registration card when you sign up or when you show up i don't have to be there but i can still step in when the time comes to be that buffer between you and the time foolery but now let's get into these houses because absolutely crazy and then at the end i'm going to show you my client's home that is just a masterpiece i know you're going to love that one so this is an active construction zone so we're going to have some noises in the background right now we're going to go and check out this i believe it's a 220 plan inventory it's been sitting for a little while i featured it on a video a couple months ago so this would be a perfect opportunity to potentially get this one down on price compared to what is listed for just because it's been sitting for a little bit of while and you wouldn't have to come out of pocket for the full earnest money deposit as well as building it custom um but yeah let's go check it out and let me know what you think
So this is the 220 plan as it stands right now. They have reduced this price a little bit. It is now at 625 and that is a great price for something that's like 3,500 square feet in a community that is this nice and has this level of finish in it. So again, you don't have to come in with the, the funds to do some of the upgrades that I know are in here, like this classic kitchen or some of these spindles or this nicer flooring. There's things that are already baked into what this inventory is and it looks great. You wouldn't have to come in here and customize or change anything out the gate only if there were some little touches that you would have wanted to have, but it's not something that you would need to have. And that's one of the reasons that I really love Highland Homes is on their inventory. You have a really great base to, to grow from, from that point without feeling like you got gypped just because you didn't have the funds or didn't want to go the build route. But now we're going to go and check out a home that is very special to me because it is in fact a dream home that my clients are building and that we will be closing on here very soon. And so it looks like they have some guys over there doing some touch up work here for us to get it ready for our final walk. And hopefully they're not too in the way so you can really just take it in and just see what my clients just went all out on. It's a 224 plan, so not one that you see very common here in the Houston Metro, but it is a model home in Bridgeland but to, to have the finishes and the things and the touches that they picked out, chef's kiss, and I love everything that they did about it, and I think that y'all will too, but let me know what you think. They're actually gonna put a sauna in this room. Can't wait to see that one. This is gonna be one of their offices. pretty my goodness it just came out gorgeous mudroom area over there right, now we cooking and then it's just oh, stunning around and it is gorgeous actual media room Flex space over here will be their other office. It's 
soft clothes on the barn door. Gorgeous. On both sides. Sliders was a must for them. It's like tons of natural light in here, it's crazy. A great patio, huge yard on both sides for this one. So they paid a little bit more for this lot. Another thing, they got this brick. So there's only three people in this community that have this brick and they are one of them. That thing looks like a castle, crazy. And so as far as options go, these clients were fancy, okay? So they, they put some money into it. I'm not gonna say what they spent, but they spent some money. And so this would be the other side of it. If you're going the more custom route, you're gonna get a product that looks like this because literally when you're in the design center, there are tile selections. There might be 20 books just for tile. <laughs> they might be 10 books or 10 different vendors just for wood flooring or vinyl flooring. There's just so many options and customizations that you can have for vendors when it comes to Highland Homes that if you can think it up and you're willing to pay for it, you can literally get pretty much whatever you want with Highland Homes. The one restriction that they had at the time when we went under contract was that you had to be right at or less than 4,000 square feet. Based on my convo with Adam a few moments ago, it looks like that has changed. So that would have been something that I'm sure this family would have jumped all over. From a design standpoint, they would have done a couple more things or maybe added another bedroom here or there. But for the time when we contracted, this is definitely one of the prettiest homes that I've ever been in. This is insane. And this is just the first level. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. But this one was fun. I was actually at the design center when they were picking out these finishes and these touches and some of them it's, it's hard to make a decision because again, like it's a lot of options and you're seeing very a very small sample of it. So you can be worried of how things came together, but their design eye, <laughs> top notch, top notch design eye for sure. I think they're gonna be really 
excited for their final walk and I think they're gonna really love this home. And I already know that they're gonna put some more touches into it. But everything that they have selected has been beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous home, man. I am excited for them to see it in its cleaned up state. We did our, our preview walk last week and now it's the time for us to do our final right before closing and I think everything looks really great. Just look at the views, look at the vibes. Or you come over here and you got your slider. Vibes on vibes on vibes, man. So is Highland Homes for you? We've talked about the 40 foot sections, the 50 foot section and the 60 foot sections. We've gone over some of the pros, some of the cons, some of the things that they do differently. Some of the reasons why we as a family personally decided to buy Highland Homes, but is it enough for you? They are one of the top selling builders in this community of Meridiana. They're basically crushing everyone at their respective size lots. And in the Metro, they continue to be a builder that many people come to me or find my channel, discovering my channel, seeing these beautiful plans just like this one and saying, hey, Aaron, we wanna make a move. We wanna do something just like that with super great customization, with super great layouts like this is no secret why Highland Homes is a top contender, not only in this metro, but in all of Texas, but is it enough for you?